Throughout time, human beings have been mystified by the power of thought. Countless legends, myths, and social explanations surround the topic of thought, but few people understand the facts about how our thoughts impact our lives. For many years, unusual observations and experiences have been labeled bizarre, paranormal, and sometimes were even considered unexplainable coincidences. But as recent studies demonstrate, there appears to be a consistent connection between the mind and physical matter. With the modern emphasis of science and the need for quantifiable evidence, many scientists have begun using a relatively new field of study known as quantum physics or quantum mechanics to examine the laws that apply at an atomic or microscopic scale. This science endeavors to describe many previously unexplained phenomena while accounting for the often overlooked energy patterns of human thought. This new science asserts that classical laws of physics do not always apply to the happenings observed at the quantum level. Some studies have shown that the actual position of matter changes continuously until a person gazes at it, where it temporarily takes a fixed position to the human eye but actually exists simultaneously in other locations. This is called the law of superposition, and it suggests that there is no such thing as an objective or universal reality. In other words, our observation of reality changes reality. The experiment also implies that there are many uncertainties between the relationship of energy, time, and space. The eminent double-slit diffraction experiment demonstrates that matter can either behave as particles or as waves, but not both at the same time. The ramifications of this study have perplexed and in some cases upset classical physicists. This does not necessarily mean that all previously existing mathematical laws were erroneous, but rather that the classical perspective is merely incomplete. Some researchers, such as Dr. Masuru Emoto, have observed that energy, especially thought energy, can impact the physical properties of matter such as water. Early experiments showed that water purity directly impacted its frozen form. Building on this discovery, further tests involved introducing the water to extraneous variables such as music, prayer, concentrated thought, and the written word. To avoid inconsistencies, Emoto used the most neutral form of water possible, distilled water. The water, as Emoto notes, responded differently, yet consistently, to the various stimuli. Heavy metal music, placed next to water for example, continually froze in a shattered-like appearance. Water placed next to the classical music of Mozart's symphony froze in the shape of a snowflake. Then people focusing their attention on specific water samples noticed that once again the results were consistent when the water was frozen. Negative thoughts caused the water to freeze in a shattered-like formation where positive thoughts consistently created complex snowflake patterns. Since many people struggle to believe what they cannot see, Emoto hopes that his extensive research and photographs will give people some physical evidence that there may be more intriguing forces at work in the universe than many of us know about, and that we may use these forces by embracing positive thoughts and exhibiting high levels of emotion such as love and gratitude. A different experiment involved the use of random event generators, also known as REGs. These are small and simple computers that produce random sequences of ones and zeros. After being told to focus on either producing more ones or zeros, the participants in the study were clearly able to influence the outcome and manipulate the mathematical probability of generating the result they intended to achieve. In a follow-up study, participants were told to once again bring about more ones or zeros on REGs located on the opposite sides of the planet. The results were equally consistent. Further studies also revealed that the results were strengthened when more people concentrated their thoughts together on the same outcome. 
An ongoing study started in 1998 called the Global Consciousness Project uses REGs that are situated around the world and kept in electromagnetically shielded housings to avoid external disturbances. Following major events such as 9-11, the Olympics, the US elections and so on, these REGs have shown clearly recognizable patterns in readings. For instance, over an hour before the first plane hit the Twin Towers, the readings showed a fluctuation in common numbers, the highest for that year. Roughly eight hours after the second plane hit the towers, the score dropped to the lowest point recorded that year. The data also reflects the various levels of consciousness activity that occur throughout the day. The readings rise during the working day and fall dramatically during the night. New quantum theory accounts for both the internal and external mechanisms that shape reality. Most mathematical theory explaining the operations of physical nature negates the central fact that cognition as an observer of reality adds an entirely new dimension to how we coexist and co-create our lives. The impact of human consciousness on reality, apart from the behavior action consequences, is largely due to the quantum dynamics of nerve terminals that create the link between nerve cells in the brain. This transfer of energy between synapses is just one known source of thought energy or vibration, which studies have also shown can impact the past, the present, and the future. Consider the fact that the subatomic structure of solid mass makes up less than 1% of an atom's size. Some scientists assert that the distance between orbiting electrons and the nucleus of an atom can be compared to the distance between continents. And the distance between atoms in a solid object may be compared to the vastness between planets. Therefore, it may be counterintuitive, but a brick wall is mostly empty space. In other words, Reality cannot be inherently understood as per the messages we receive from our human senses alone. To date, however, humans' perception of the world has been molded by religious suppositions and past scientific discovery. Yet clinging to past perspectives will not reveal nor describe the secrets of human consciousness and its impact on the universe. The idea that humans are sensory animals designed to merely experience reality passively cannot coexist in conjunction with the new discoveries in quantum science. Instead, new data shows that we are, consciously or unconsciously, influencing and creating the results we experience in our everyday lives. Contemporary physics draws fewer conclusions and in many cases inspires further questioning. But in this process we recognize that nature is richer than the models humans use to describe it. In essence, perception is not reality, but it becomes so when we believe only what we already know and disregard other possibilities. If our mentality becomes our reality, then changing the way we view thought and its relationship to the physical world must precede any advancement and enhancement of our own current conditions.